Hello, Namaste. I'm Dr. Sanjay Adla. I'm a urologist, uro-oncologist and robotic surgeon at Apollo Hospitals. Today, the topic of discussion is going to be testicular cancer. We are going to look at the symptoms, what are the treatment options, how can we prevent it and what are the overall cure rates associated with testicular cancer. What is testicular cancer? Testicular cancer is a cancer that happens or that affects the testicles. Every man has two testicles and any cancer that is happening, whether it is associated with the testicle as such or the tissue surrounding the testicle, we tend to categorize them as testicular cancers. What are the types of testicular cancer? Testicular cancer, if you were looking at them broadly, of course you would say that, okay, there is a testicular cancer and then you could have benign non-cancerous enlargement of the prostate. But if you were only looking at testicular cancers as such, we tend to categorize them into two forms. One is the seminomatous germ cell tumors. So any testicular cancer is categorized as a germ cell tumor. So either there could be a seminomatous germ cell tumor or non-seminomatous germ cell tumor. What are the causes of testicular cancer? As with majority of the cancers, though there are some causes, let's say for lung cancer, there is a cause which is the smoking. There isn't any specific reason why somebody would develop a testicular cancer. There are risk factors, but there isn't any specific reason why somebody would develop a testicular cancer. What are the risk factors for testicular cancer? Now, this is what is very important. The risk factors for testicular cancer are generally two. One is anybody who has got an undescended testicle, so a child who is born with a testicle, both the testicle not being in the scrotum, they are at an increased risk. Whether they have a surgery to bring them down into the scrotum or not, there is an increased risk of developing testicular cancer. The second risk factor is any sibling or a father having testicular cancer or a brother having testicular cancer, it increases the risk of their family, whether it's another brother or another sibling or the children of a testicular cancer patient having testicular cancer. So these people do need to be more careful. These do people do need to be screened with respect to testicular cancer. So these are the two risk factors. If you actually say the risk factor, it would be any history of undescended testicle is the primary risk factor for testicular cancer. How is testicular cancer diagnosed? Testicular cancer first has to be picked up. So what I always tell every patient or every man who bothers to listen to me is do self-examination. So just by examining yourself on a regular basis, you pick up any abnormality with respect to the testicle. And once that abnormality, any lump, any swelling, any pain in relation to the testicle you feel, when you go to a specialist, they will examine you and then they will do basic investigations in the form of an ultrasound scan and that helps us firstly diagnosing testicular cancer further on we do other investigations to stage the cancer better but the diagnosis primary has to come from you picking it up early seeing a specialist who will diagnose whether you've got a cancer or you might just be having a hydrocele or something non-cancerous now come to the what are the stages of testicular cancer as with any cancer, there will be a local stage and a cancer that has spread to the next surrounding organs and the cancer that has gone further and the cancer that has gone spread everywhere in the body. So you would categorize them as stage 1 where everything is within the testicle, stage 2 where it is, it is in and around the testicle, stage 3 where it has gone to the lymph node, stage 4 where it has gone to the lungs and to the whole part of their abdomen and chest. So these are the different stages. What are the treatments for testicular cancer? The treatment for testicular cancer, I would go one step before. Testicular cancer is very easily curable. So yes, there are treatments that are there, but the objective is not to control the cancer. The objective is to cure you of the cancer. So testicular cancer, let's say if you take a patient of stage 1 cancer where everything is within the testicle, they only need that offending testicle or that part of the testicle to be taken out and that is curative. If it has gone a bit further, they might need one or three cycles of chemotherapy and again that will ensure that they are cured in almost 97% of the cases. Even if the cancer has gone a bit further away to lymph nodes, 
even in that stage we are talking of a cure rate of 90 percent but they will need further treatment in the form of chemotherapy even in patients who have got distant spread depending on whether they are seminomatous germ cell tumor or non-seminomatous germ cell tumor we are still talking of high 80 percent chances of long-term cure for these patients so there are treatments that are available but they are determined what treatment is determined by the stage and the type of testicular cancer those patients have. How can someone prevent testicular cancer? Yeah, as in a generic sense can we prevent any cancer would be a generic question and can we prevent testicular cancer? We can decrease the chances of having any cancer again I go back to the lung cancer you can decrease the chances by not smoking whereas when it comes to testicular cancer there isn't anything specific you can do to decrease the chance of testicular cancer but what you can do is increase the chances of cure of your testicular cancer and how do we do that by picking it up early you diagnose the cancer early the higher probability of a cure lesser chance of needing toxic chemotherapy so we cannot decrease the chances of diagnosis of testicular cancer but what we can do is increase the chances of cure of your testicular cancer if you pick it up early in conclusion testicular cancer is not very common problem but it tends to affect the main people in a family so it affects people or patients in their 20s and 30s who are the center focus of these families so it is important that we pick it up early and when we do pick it up early we do get very high probability of a cure the last thing I would like to mention with respect to testicular cancer is I said it only affects one in one lakh population just because it is a rarer type of a cancer you do need to seek help from specialist centers for testicular cancer because there are not that many specialists who understand the testicular cancer that very well whether we can cure testicular cancer or not is dependent on you how early you pick it up how early you see the specialist how good a specialist you see and what all treatments you receive testicular cancer as with any other cancer is eminently curable but the key is early diagnosis stay safe stay healthy stay informed thank you very much namaste